today hope you're all having a nice weekend whatever you guys are up to today <laughs> probably probably out playing in the snow but unfortunately we don't have snow it's like our road is allergic to snow and it just doesn't sit on the ground i was just i was speaking to our next door neighbor who's a, a lovely gentleman that just lives on this side and he was saying that he he was saying that he got stuck yesterday at his daughter's and he had to stay over at his daughter's house because because of how bad the snow was literally two minutes up the road he says it takes me no more than a couple of minutes to get to and from her house usually and i could not get back home last night so i had to stay over and there's nothing on the ground and then he's like i got i can't believe i literally come two minutes down the road and there's nothing here like there's there's nothing there's like, like look guys outside like there's nothing <laughs> this is as exciting as it gets that tiny little bit there on the grass anyway we've got operation start properly on isla's new room today and I'm very excited to start the painting in her room. We've finally decided on a bed and I'll include, I'll insert two pictures here now on the two that Isla chose herself and couldn't decide between. Both of those beds are single bed size. I know on one of them it looks like a tiny toddler bed but it's not a tiny toddler bed. It takes a full single size mattress and at 36 I still fit a single size mattress. So they're both single size and we couldn't decide which one to go with we were leaning towards the midi bed just because i love how it's got like that den space underneath where i can make a, like a little reading den and then also the cubes on the end where i can put all of her books and things like that and not have to hi dad hello you get up in a minute okay um and somewhere I didn't have, I'd be able to put all the books and things there so I wouldn't have to find alternative places for them and the bedroom's not massive that she's moving into so that's important come here Az. which one were you leaning towards um, which, what do you mean? The two beds, the tent, the like TP one or the midi one? The midi one. Yeah, she's leaning towards the midi one too. I love the uniqueness of the TP one, but I just, it's just not very practical. But I think, Chase, Chase, would you like, would you like a TP bed? Chase, would you like a TP bed? Anyway, guys, comment down below which one you think is the best, which one you like the best, and which one you think we should go for. I think. I think we're going for the, the, the midi one. It's more practical and it will grow with Isla as well. Yeah, we don't touch radiators. They're very hot, aren't they? Uh, they're very hot. Yeah, they're very hot. Anyway, guys, before we do start painting today, we're going to go out for a nice family walk. <laughs> Where's Esme, Jace? <laughs> Where's Esme? Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Where's she gone? Oh no! Look over, see if you can see her. Nene. Boom! Nutter. Look over. Look over. See if you. No, he's too scared. Look over. Boom! <laughs> She's so loud. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Oh no! Go. She's gonna climb on me. Go get her. play this Go scare Isla. Oh no! This is gonna come on me! Oh. 
And refreshing about being outdoors when helicopter <laughs> when it's sunny and cold I, I don't know why I absolutely love it I love Sun but then cold like ice cold it feels so nice just to be out in the fresh air oh hi where's he going I think he's gone now. Jace is literally having us on the stitches right now. Everybody that walks past is going, Hello! Hello! Okay, bye bye! <laughs> so, so sweet. Oh my goodness me, I need to invest in a coat. I just realised I don't actually have one. You do? Probably coming out. Yeah, only a thin one though, like a, not like a warm, nice, juicy coat. That's because every time I pick up a warm, juicy coat, you go, know, nah. Nah. The boss is fully frozen today. I mean, look how thick the ice is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look how thick it is, it's like. So I do know that there's a cafe at some point along this trail coming up and everybody's walking past us the other way with like a hot drink or something. Didn't think it'd be open, but apparently it might be. So, hmm, you got some cash on you, babe? Uh oh. No, I don't want to use my cash. Oh, Esme just informed me that she's got her pocket money on her. Good girl, Esme. Using my cash. <laughs> no, no. It's open, and we've sent mommy in, and she's not got my cash. <laughs> she forgot by the time we got here. Gonna, are we gonna get a nice sandwich? And a nice drink. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, you wanna come up with that? Uh, we're gonna get a nice sandwich, a nice drink. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, she came out with the nam nams. They were so busy in there. I'm really glad because I thought some like places like this, I wouldn't think many people would think they're open. And I was like, are you doing okay? And they're like, yeah, we're so grateful because obviously they're near the canal and things. So lots of people come here like for drinks for and, and stuff, lunch yeah. and stuff. So I've got some lunch for us. We've got some sandwiches that look so good. That one. Oh, 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 oh that was Isla. Really that was Isla's. Isla. Oh, for Dada. Isabel. Thank you. You're oh. welcome. Oh. Oh. Fuck. If you want one. Thank, thank you. you. Good girls. You've and been very patient, Jace. Oh my god! 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 Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> daddy. So we just got back home and thawed out. The girls are just snuggled in the living room with Jace watching Corey Carson. Is it called Corey Carson? Anyway, they're watching Corey Carson in the living room with Jace with the fire on full blast. So it's like a sauna in there. Have you been in there? I just went in and I was like, girls, get the fire turned off. It's boiling in here. And I was like, we're freezing. They literally sat on the fire. Well, not on the fire, but you know, right under the fire. And it's not a proper fire, just in case anyone doesn't know. It's just an electric one. Anyway, we're just making ourselves a drink right now. And I think me and Chris are going to go up to Isla's bedroom and make a start on her painting. I'll see a coffee from your tie. <laughs> Everybody that didn't watch the vlog the other day will be like, what did Chris just say? <laughs> Those that watched the vlog the other day might be laughing, or maybe not. Maybe it's just us that th find things like that funny. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Anyway. 
anyway, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys. I don't actually, we've not ordered the paint yet. We do have to order it online. But I haven't shown you guys what the paint theme that we're going for in Isla's bedroom is. So I thought I'd just quickly show you guys now. I'm going for like a... No. It's been really embarrassing. I'm trying not to look. But we're going for a pink, like a pink, green and white theme. So I know it says wedding colours here, obviously. We're talking paint colours. So we're going for this green here, which is like a sage, I guess. And then like a mixture between these two pinks. So really light, really neutral and soft. Because as you guys know, that room's not a massive room anyway. And so I want to keep it as light and airy and as florally and pretty as I can. So this is kind of the paint scheme that I'm going for. It's very similar to what we did on Jace's bedroom. Very similar. But I'm also doing a corner. It, it's kind of hard to explain. Like a cot. I'm just going to show you guys. So this will be her back wall. Obviously not in these colours, but in the colours that I just showed you guys. The greens and the pinks. I don't know if you guys can see here, but this is kind of like makes it like a corner feature for her bed as well. This little extra bit here. So I'm also going to be doing that. And then finally, I ordered these little flower sticker things from Amazon, which I'm going to put on the white part of the feature wall. So I know on the previous picture I just showed you guys, or the one previous to that, there was like gold stars on the light blue bit, the top triangle bit here, that will be remaining one block colour, but the white bit that will be on that part of the wall there will have those floral stickers. The floral stickers did arrive, I ordered them on Amazon. They did arrive the other day and they do look quite small compared to what they look like on that picture there, so I don't know if I've got quite enough. I might have to order some more, but I am just going to wait and see when we've painted the wall, see how much space there is there. So basically I'm doing like a mix and match between loads of different pictures to make her a nice feature wall and hopefully it will turn out the way I hope it will. Turn out the way I hope it will. Turn out the way I envision. Before we do go upstairs, I got Prinny a little treat. Prinny! She's laid in her bed fast asleep. Prinny! Good girl, look at that tongue. Look at her mucky face. <laughs> oh, she's cute, are you, dog? No, you mucky face, dog. Stay. 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 Good girl, Prinny. <laughs> Where am I going to go and hide this now? No, Where am I going to go and hide it? <laughs> okay, Isla. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you right now? I'm actually 10. I'm really excited to start painting. Yeah, so we've got Isla in to help. We've got our brushes, our rollers, our paint. And we need to transform this grey into... I hope I don't get this messy. Maybe you should change. Yeah, maybe should. Put something old on or some PJs. Yeah, I'll go. You go do that and I'll put the paint in. Okay, Ida. <laughs> Careful. Don't do it really fast because it'll, it'll splash everywhere. Wait, what, what does that matter? No, it's okay. Just slowly do the wall now. First time, you ready? Woo! Push on as hard as you can and go all the way down. Go a bit faster than that. You can go faster than that, just not really fast. Yeah, like it. That's it, and now all the way back up. Fast. That's better, that's it. Back down. Spread it all around. Well done. Yeah. First strip done. <laughs> Why do I always underestimate how much work painting a room is? Oh my gosh, it takes so long. You start and you think, wow, I've almost done a full wall. And then you realise that that wall actually needs three coats and you've still got another three walls to do uh, that all need like three coats. To be fair, I think the Magnolia walls just need two. What do you reckon? Maggie's definitely two, yeah. That back Please one don't call it Maggie. That back one needs a few. Please don't say that again. <laughs> the Magnolia probably does just need two, but the big one here, the, the really big one that was grey, I think we're going to have to do like four coats on that one because... Easy, it's still showing through after two. We've done two and you can clearly still see the grey showing through, so I think we're going to have to do four on that one. And then um, the rest of the walls are going to be white, but I have decided, m partly because the paint's run out, oh, it will run out, I don't think it will do this wall, but partly because I actually think it'll look really nice, I've decided to do the wall here 
with the TV on, just there, the opposite wall to where her bed's gonna be, I think I'm gonna do that light pink. So this, whatever the same color pink that will be on the feature wall, I'm gonna do that wall that. And then I've just asked Isla, I saw some gold stickers on online and you can get like sprinkle gold stickers. Oh, what's going on? You can get like sprinkles, so little lines. I really liked them. Or you can get stars or you can get circles. They're like stickers basically in gold. I really liked the sprinkles. I thought they looked really cool and unique. But of course, this is Isla's bedroom and Isla's choice and she chose the stars and knew she'd choose the stars. So I've just ordered some of those. I've just ordered some of the gold tape so that her feature wall can have the gold tape on. Although I don't know if that will go, but do you think the gold tape? I don't know what you're talking about, maybe so. I've ordered it now, but I'm not sure it will go. Oh, Jace is coming. That's another thing I have to keep stopping and going and playing with Jace because obviously he can't be in here. Hello, you can't come in here. Come in, sweetie, I can't go past here, sweetheart. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna push my way through. Hey everyone, so I have just got out of the shower and I've kind of just been cleaning up my room and getting everything ready tomorrow and then I've also started to use um, my Organised Chaos book and also, I'm not too sure where I've put it but do you know my, um, I have a book that's called A Question A Day and I got it, I think I got it, not last year but the year before that, I got it for Christmas and um, I went to fill in for January, so that was 2020. Um, I got it for Christmas in 2019. I started January 2020. And instead of like doing one question, it's over three years, this whole book. So it's like one, two, three, and you meant to do just the top bit. I decided to fill in all three of those. So I like basically ruined it and I, I just didn't go back to it because I kind of did loads of pages that were completely wrong anyway i found it the other day and i fixed it by like sticking paper over the top of them um so you can like hardly tell the difference and i've started it again but starting it in 2021 so it's really cool you get it asks you a question a day over a period of three years and you can look back on um, all the answers and how they change so some like what made you laugh today is like the first one that I did so that's obviously going to change and there's also ones that like what your favourite food right now what's your favourite blah, blah 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 and over the three years you can see how your answers change and I think that's such a cool thing anyway I'm about to go downstairs and make myself a nice cup of tea and chill Isla's still here she hasn't got bored I thought she might she's right, still yeah. she's doing, doing she's doing really good she's still bossing we're on the sec Third coat now. Third coat of the grey. This might do up in the third year. I hope yeah. It might do. Yeah, you're doing really well, Al's. We've quit for the night, that's it, we're done. We're gonna finish up here. We have painted every single wall. We've run out of paint though, that's why we've stopped. Um, we've run out of the white paint, we bought a huge tub. Thought I'd easily do this room, but not, but did not. Purely because we needed to do like 50 million coats on this wall. So the main, like, the main bulk of the walls are done. We still need to do an extra coat on the edges and around the top. Probably maybe another two coats even, actually. It's just at the middle of the middle block is, I think it's good. We'll see tomorrow in the daylight, but I think it's good. All the other walls are painted. Aside from the far one that Sarah's doing pink, and um, yeah, we're gonna crack on with more of that tomorrow. So we express ordered some paint. We've express ordered Isla's bed, which I'm hopefully, when's Isla's bed gonna arrive? It gets dispatched tomorrow. I said probably Monday or something, a bed will arrive. Yeah. Hoping the paint's gonna arrive tomorrow and we can crack on with more of that. But um, I'm really looking forward to this now. It's gonna look great. It looks so different from, uh, you guys won't be able to tell probably, but um, obviously living here and you're seeing it every day, it looks ridiculously different from when Isabel had it with that gray wall being gone. Nice. You know, it's gonna look nice and fresh and gorgeous. Excuse the massive pile of rubbish in the middle. It's not actually rubbish, it's really good toys. Stuff that's gonna be organized between Esme and Isla's bedrooms. So for the minute, they're just in a pile right here because Esme's bedroom is absolutely full of her own toys and things because Esme's bedroom's a mess right now with stuff and furniture, the same way this one is. So, um, but they'll all be sorted in a couple of days, hopefully. Hopefully tomorrow the brackets for this are gonna arrive as well so we can put it on the wall in the playroom and get this out of here. It's purely in here just for safeguarding so Jace doesn't smash it and ruin it. I do have a proud dad moment to share with you all right now because my very, very creative Esme Alexa has done something amazing that I'm gonna show you guys right now. Something amazing is get a giraffe on Adopt Me. <laughs> My friend helped me get it. Okay. It's just amazing. Anyway, okay. so, no, this is absolutely the amazing thing that I've done, and I'm really proud of it. So there's this new trend thing going around. You have to try and draw these lime li lips, I guess you'd call it, and I really like what I've done. That's so cool, Esme. I really like it. It took me, like, 
till dinner time till now to do it. It's really so, cool. I love it. You are so creative. Thank you. If we're staying in this house for much longer, <laughs> the one thing that used to go is this light in here. I hate how orange this light is. Don't you here. even dare start messing about with lights in other rooms. That's of this the next house. one to go. Don't you mm -hmm. even dare. I like the light, but it's just it's just bright orange light. It just looks awful. Maybe maybe the bulbs actually oh, yeah, changing. Maybe we should just get one light we've got in the living room. No. Yeah. No. Perfect idea that no one will ever sleep in no. here ever again. And I could just literally in the middle of the night I could just be like, yo babe, bang, turn the lights on and you'd be like, ah, I'm a fat I'm dying. I definitely would not ever do that. <laughs> Sarah found a boss film earlier and she told me to remember the name of it and I could completely I've forgotten the name of it. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so it was about the world ending and some pilot had like a plane full of people and you had to land it somewhere cool and it just it sounded all right. Bye -bye. Something like, maybe, maybe something like one of them films that never made it to the cinema, so it's kind of like half like, mm, semi all right, but you know. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it for today. We're gonna watch a movie and get to bed. Okay guys, we'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.